Now we've seen some on and off showers today, which I don't think anyone has a problem with after we've experienced all that heat we had mm -hmm. throughout the couple of last days. Yeah, I think it's good to have a little bit of rain here mm -hmm. and there, and it has helped us to cool down. We're you know 15 to 20 degrees exactly. cooler versus the last several days in the <laughs> 90s. So from here on out, we have a lot of 70s. Perfect. Good average weather as of course we almost officially start the uh, summer season. But for the rain tonight and mm -hmm. tomorrow, we got a couple more rainy spots by 70. That's what we're starting with tonight. Look at that local radar. We have seen that rain. It's been a little on and off, most of which has not been very heavy. Some of our southern counties caught a little bit of a heavier rain shower here and there. I know there's been at least some thunder in the area, but not recently. Most of us catching a break from any rainfall now. Hillsdale seeing some light rainfall, but this is good news for at least the start of the uh, All-Star game at the Lugnut Stadium, but we could still catch some rain later on this evening too. Temperatures are currently in the mid 70s close to our highs for the day down to 69 Marshall. This is actually a hair below average for this time of year compared to the recent days. I mean, this is a significant drop versus the very hot weekend we just finished around the region. 73 Chicago, a lot of 60s and 70s across a lot of the northern plains will be hovering around this same kind of range the next several days. A lot of highs in those 70s, even though there's the hot weather 92 St. Louis. I mean, it's just too far south. Now we have this front that's working its way southward and that has been kicking up a lot of thunderstorms. The heavy storms just to our south. We're dodging the strong storms that are in Indiana and the Illinois today. We'll catch a little bit more still across lower Michigan tonight, but it's mostly just light rainfall. Not a lot of thunder activity and certainly nothing strong. So light scattered rainfall into the rest of your evening and the overnight kind of on and off and more rain throughout Wednesday's forecast, mainly in the morning. Temperatures, like I was saying, a lot of 70s in our seven day and to the weekend ahead, more thunderstorms though. So we do kind of catch that on and off pattern for rainfall. Here we go in your future track tonight. We're in a little bit of a break, but still expect some scattered rainfall sort of be coming and going. May not be very heavy, might hear a rumble of thunder. That's really about it. As we go later on into the overnight past midnight, more of the same on and off rainfall. Wednesday's morning commute will likely have rain for most of mid Michigan. Might catch a brief heavier shower that could slow things down a little bit on the roads, but by lunchtime it's looking to be gone and east of us. It's taking its time, but the second half of Wednesday does look to be rain free. Even by late Wednesday, we'll start to lose our cloud cover. Could see some late sunshine. Wednesday night, dry, mostly clear skies. Thursday's forecast, partly cloudy to maybe even mostly sunny. Thursday's a nice break from that rain. 60 degrees tonight. Scattered rain on and off throughout the evening and the overnight cloudy winds a little bit breezy at times. Tomorrow gets us up to about the mid 70s, similar to today. Morning rainfall with some evening clearing again, mostly morning rain might see quite a bit of dryness in the rest of the day into the seven day forecast upper 70s mid 70s good seasonable weather as for rainfall watch out for tonight through tomorrow morning and then an another round of heavier rain and storms Friday night and Saturday. I'm not so sure about severe weather or anything like that, but it could be a rather soggy period Friday night and Saturday. Perfect. So just be prepared you guys to get ready for that rainfall. That's right. All right. Well, Dustin, thanks for that. Here's some